Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to episode 11, how to scalp and day trade your way to financial freedom. As always, my recordings are raw, real and unedited. I don't have a script that I run to. I just pretty much go by what we're showing on the slides. As we do get underway, there is a risk disclaimer I do need to put up. There is a risk in trading. Don't trade with the rent money. Uh, please feel free to pause the recording. Uh, if you need to read the disclaimer. If you haven't already, please click on the link below to request my ebook, The Truth About Day Trading. Better still, go and visit my website. Just a very quick advertisement for $197, you can obtain a Day Traders Fast Track program, which is the world's most comprehensive program. When you look at the huge amount of resources, there are literally hundreds of hours of training videos there are literally hundreds of handouts, over 20 PowerPoints. There's a ton of material, plus indicators for TradeStation, Intertrader 7, 8, MT4, Think or Swim are all included. Now, when I say there is no upsell, yes, you'll see on my website that you can attend my personal coaching if you wish. We don't have, or I don't have a telemarket will ring you up and try to upsell you. So if you're after a program that's extremely comprehensive, this is the last program you'll ever need to invest in. End of advertisement. So let's get into this. So I want to talk to you once again about scalping and day trading. Now, there are four trading conditions that you must learn to trade or avoid, to stand aside that is. Now, the best trading, in my opinion, are trading retracements. That is, looking for a pullback to our EMAs and then what we call a trend continuation or a retracement and a trend continuation. Then we have our reversals, which typically we will have either a T3, which is what we call an extreme move, or a divergence trade, or a change in trend, or a counter trend trade. Um, you know, once again, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush, meaning it's very, very easy uh, for new traders particularly to get caught out by trying to pick a change in trend. Now, with my members, in my coaching classes, uh, this is a handout, I've just updated it, hence the uh, date here, is that I trend trade only until I'm consistently profitable. And I really highlight this, this is a short term, uh, just a, uh, a little cheat sheet that they have. Now, very important, when you look at all these different setups, they're, they're all closely related, they're brothers and sisters, okay? So at times we'll get two or three of these all set up at the same time, however, they're all trend following strategies. And that's so important when you're starting your trading, and sorry if you could just hear the alarm go off then, uh, it's, um, it's very important you start off trading with the trend until you're consistently profitable. Breakouts after a period of consolidation or a pullback. And sometimes you can have a breakout, of course, from a range bound area. I hate round, range band areas, okay? Uh, because that's where you, it's chop and slop. You can be caught up in chop. And I'm not a fan of breakouts unless it's out of a range band area and there are certain rules that I use. But what I wanted to really focus on is just trading with the trend for a moment. There are two excellent books by Michael Cobble, Trend Following, and by Robert Miner, High Probability trading strategies, as both of them quite and rightfully so point out, there's a fortune to be made trading with the trend. And if you look at Richard Dennis from the Turtle Spain, written up, of course, in Market Wizards, uh, he was purely, virtually purely, a trend following trader. And of course, he turned $400 into over 200 million. True story. So here's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we're following or trading in the direction of a higher time frame. So the dark blue line represents our anchor chart. And the little red line here is what we call our EC or our SC, which is our scalping chart or our entry chart. And what we're looking for is a pullback, then a trend continuation. Now, if we were trading breakouts, we'd be waiting for a breakout there. We'd be waiting for a breakout there. We'd be waiting for a breakout of the lower points. But we want to be in as early as possible. If we're wrong, okay, we've got tight stops. We can pick that quickly. Then up the top here and down the bottom here, we're going to have our divergence trades. But this is when you also need to clearly understand and to learn 
when the trend is coming to an end. And there are very clear signs that will basically put you on the right side of a ledger and understanding when the trend is coming to an end. But also, even if you're not trading the divergence trades, it's very important that you understand them because you don't want to continue to trade with the trend if you've got a solid divergence trade. And when you've got what we call a 2D, a double divergence, that is divergence on your entry chart and your anchor chart, that's an extremely powerful signal. So let's just go to the charts and have a look at this. So what we're looking at here is oil and trading with the trend. Now with oil, if you're not familiar with CL, it's 10 a tick and you've heard me say probably on earlier videos five by five yes I can three by eight yes I can and what that means is five five tick trades a day will net you a little over two hundred dollars and three eight tick trades a day will net you over two hundred that's four hundred a day per contract now when we look at here this is a 233 and i've got a 610 and a 1597 i'm trading in the direction of my anchor charts if you find three charts confusing you can drop it down and trade just with two but what i want to confirm is i'm trading in the direction of this higher time frame now you may have heard me talk about this on previous episodes where i do want to have a confirmation with an oscillator. Now the oscillator could be a CCI, you could use an RSI, here I'm using a stochastic, a two smooth, you can use a standard stochastic. We just use very short time frames. If you're a pure price action trader, of course you're simply looking for a mini breakout here of these levels. Now if you're trading or seeking to net 200 plus per day per contract, you can see you would have easily done it in that trend. And we got very, very clear cut entry exit signals. Now, this is right at 10 a.m. And with oil, we have what we call the 10 o'clock shock. And if you're not familiar with oil, great market, but some little things you need to know, such as trading round numbers. Now, here we can see at 53.50, you can see the we had a rally right up and then we had a bounce. 53.20, then you got 53, 50. Uh, 380 is another area. You've got certain levels that work brilliantly. They act as what we call magnets. Likewise, the floor pivots on oil also act as magnets. Now, what is important is that when you're trading, that you trade with the trend. That's all you need to learn to do traders, is to trade with the trend. Now, what it means is patience. And if we look back here, this is an area of consolidation. This is a range bound area. Now, what can we tell about this area? Well, Bill Williams in his book, New Trading Dimensions, and he also discusses it in another book of his called Trading Chaos. He calls it the alligator. Now he uses a slightly different moving average, you know, offset. But when the, and he, he puts it down, the analogy uses, imagine a crocodile or an alligator with its mouth closed. Now, when it starts to get hungry, it starts to open its mouth, as we can see the EMAs are starting to fan apart. And this is where traders really let themselves down. And we know that trading really comes down to three key ingredients. 90%, 5% and 5%, sorry, 95 and 5%. 90% is head stuff. Following the trading rules and making sure that you don't suffer from FOMO fear of missing out. That is, when we see our EMAs coming together, we know that the alligator is basically not hungry, all right? And we this is our chop area. Now, the other two figures, by the way, five and five, five percent is money management, and five percent are the strategies. Once we start to have a fanning of the EMAs, these are what we call the sweet spots. Okay, this is where we do very well, and just there alone, okay, we've done our $200 well and truly. Now, for your exits, by the way, I know many traders might be asking or thinking, where would we exit? Well, what I've got there, see that red line, that's an ATR, a customized ATR, but you can use a, and, and 
Uh, I've got that ATR set up, by the way, for MT8. I've also got it for Trade Station. I don't have it for Ninja Trader 7, but I'll give you an alternative by using the Wells Wilder, uh, the Parabolic SAR. SAR stands for Stop and Reverse. Got a, we, we got a special setting for it where you'll almost do that identically. But of course, there's lots of other things you can use there when it comes to trailing. But just by picking this up, there's $400 well and truly in that move. Now, when we start to get to an area of divergence, these are the areas then that we want to be very, very cautious. For an example, right here. Now, we don't have any obvious divergence on my MACD just here, but look at the anchor chart. We've got very, very definite divergence there. So these are the areas where we want to be very cautious of our trend continuation trades straight after strong divergence. Now, this is where we'll then combine our tick charts and be looking at what's happening on the Renko. Now, this is a one tick Renko. So we can see how much smoother the Renko is. Now, one tick, I will point out, is very, very fast. Now, this is five minutes. Okay, so yes, you could trade that using uh, market orders. But if you want to use buy stops or limit orders, very, very difficult. This is where you'll need to jump up to either a two or a four tick. Now, this is a two tick Renko on oil. So I like to look at both tick and Renko. And here we've got a, a nice entry. We've got one there, we've got one there, and we've got one here. Now, this is what we call a 200 EMA overshoot, a very, very high probability entry point, particularly um, when we have some other conditions med, um, being set up on our higher time frames. So traders, just being patient, why take the risk trades? Now, I do have a saying, I say, look, you've got to go into the lion's den to steal the cups, okay? Meaning, you've got to put out there and, and undertake some risk, but where we limit that risk is by understanding and trading by the law of probabilities. For example, when, if you go to a casino, do we ever see the dealer miss out on a number of hands or change the rules once they have a couple of losing um, hands? Of course not. They stick to the rules. Why? They, they know, they believe in the law of probabilities and they, know, and they believe, of course, in um, uh, money management. Now, trading with the trend, and when we've got a fanning of the EMAs, and I've mentioned in previous episodes, even if you don't, have my super scalp with the white paint bar here, that is a pattern. And it's a very simple pattern to learn. And you can see here, you soon get your five tick, your eight tick moves day in, day out, trading with the trend. So you, that is what we call a 2B, by the way. That's a 2B. Now you would have had a loss there. Now that was a nice winner. And there is once again, the pivot. And just while we're on there talking about, and going back to my checklist here for a moment, looking at this here. See down here I've got, um, do I have a PM? Uh, a PM is a pivot magnet trade. With oil, with the ES, with the NQ, you can do extremely well trading pivot magnets. Now, the best pivot trades are when you're trading into the pivot. You can also trade pivot bounces very well. Now here you can see we've got a little double bottom just there. So see how we've got a double bottom against the pivot and note here I've got divergence and I've got divergence. Okay, big tick and bang, away we go. Thank you very much. So you can do very well with the divergence trades, but what I tend to find is that for the newer traders, they get confused. There's, there's still a number of other considerations with that. So the best thing is to learn to simply trade with the trend in your earlier days. And I promise you traders, you'll end up as a profitable trader. But that's the thing, a lot of traders just don't want to trade with the trend. Now, uh, one of the golden rules, for example, see this trade here, there's a trade just there. Well, you don't know it's a trade, but it's a trade just there. And just there, let me just find another one for you. Yes, you had other trades on the way, but I'm just showing you these two Bs. Here is a, another one for two Bs. Is a, is a very solid 80 plus percent trade, day in, 
day out, no matter what type of trade uh, or, or chart type that you trade. It's just a very, very high probability trade. But when you understand the logic behind a 2P, uh, and there's one right there, and there's one there, and that probably was almost one. I'm just looking for another one here. Uh, well, you had just one there, and there was actually one there, and there's one just over here, just there. Now, these are called 2Bs, and in the end, you'll soon get to recognize these in a blink of an eye. They're very obvious when you know the rules to a 2B. Very high probability. Now, remember when I said 3 by 8 yes, I can, and sorry about clapping my hand, it's something we do uh, in our sessions, is that when we've got those, these romp, as you can probably see, 8 ticks in nearly every setup. You get 8 tick moves. Now, 3 of those will net you your 200 a day per contract. Many of you have probably heard about our 5,000 our 5, to 10,000 a week income in 16, 17 weeks. Just by simply earning $200 a day will get you up to 10,000 a week. Um, uh, just by trading and netting 200 a day. Now, when I say that traders, let me say this. I can understand the skepticism of some of the traders that have been finding that have found trading very, very difficult. And it really comes down to if trading has not been kind to you, we need to start, draw a line in the sand and restart. For an example, no CT trading, no counter trend trading whatsoever. You must be a trend trader. And this is where we worked a great deal on the head stuff. Okay? Because so much of trading and, and what most traders don't understand, and I know a lot of losing traders right now, are curling their nose up, and this is the very reason why you're losing. You need to be open-minded to the possibility of change. And we've got to start with the subconscious, how we trade and the trades that we select. Now, as I mentioned, that is a 2B, and if you become a member, you'll go back and you can look at this chart and go, fruitcake, so it was. That's a 2B. Just say, I've got another 2B straight back here, okay? Uh, and there is one right there. Now, you had multiple other trade entries here along the way. But they're what we call the 5 by 5s They're the scalps where you'll easily get, generally speaking, five ticks. But the deeper ones, our 2Bs are the ones where you'll romp. And you can see that that's probably a good 10 ticks. That's a good 10 ticks. So you only need to make sure that you've got a trend, you've got a fanning of your EMAs here, traders. We're fanning on the entry, we're fanning on the anchor, and we're taking our two Bs and we're trading what we call the 34 Bs. There's your 400 a day. You can do this, traders, if you're committed. The problem is, a lot of traders are not committed. They think they're committed, but they're not. If trading has not been kind to you. It's a matter of getting off for live trading, stop live trading, and come and learn how to trade these. These strategies are nothing new under the sun. I'm what we call a strategy hacker traders. And that is, I've been doing this for many, many years. I've bought just about every course, every book, seriously. And I buy new books, and, and I've got a lot of coaching clients, a couple of hundred clients um, are in my coaching classes. I do two classes a week. And by the way, that's the only upsell if you wish to join my coaching. But, it, but everything, I hold nothing back. It's all in my standard program. But the big thing is, you've got to become a student of the market. Okay, Very important trace. You become a student of the market. My job as a researcher is to give you the best of the best, is to show you how to trade these great setups. And that's what I do. And if there's something better out there, I'll tell you about it, but guess what? There's not. No, I, you name it, I own it. And you've probably seen some of the videos where I show my indicators. I've got hundreds of indicators, hundreds, literally. And really, some of the best indicators in the world are the simplest. If you go and look at my charts, for an example, what you'll notice is the most powerful indicators I've got are the EMAs. If you're a pure price action trader, you'll understand most of these entry points once you know what I'm looking for. It's very straightforward. Yes, as I've mentioned, with tick charts, I do, I do like to see my oscillator give me the hook. I call that the short-term stochastic hook. Okay, I like to see that. 
right, just as a nice little confirmation. But on the Renko, I'm not worried about it at all. I don't wait for a hook on the Renko. Now, remember he, uh, earlier I was just talking to you about the two Bs. There is one there that it failed, but then this next one was a really nice winner. Now, note here with this one here, I also ended up with some divergence, which dramatically improves the probability of that trade. So traders, um, I've covered, and, and perhaps I, I think I said this at the start, what's really important as you watch my videos is if you basically say, okay, what's the one lesson I can take away from this today? Because in every session, this is what I do full time. Uh, I, I trade every day. I research every day. I love this business. And so therefore, the stuff that I give you, just that one idea, and you start to look at improving your skill set by 1% per day, the multiple impact of that is 30, you've, you'll improve yourself 38 times over a year. There's an excellent book, by the way, called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And he talks about tiny changes, remarkable results in his book. And it's about really looking to improve your skill set, just that small percentage every day. Likewise, when you first start to trade, this is really important, is that you focus on that one thing, that one setup to begin with. Once you own that one setup, you go to the next one, then you go to the next one. And this is where a lot of traders, they suffer from what we call decision fatigue. That is the amount of decisions or the amount of things that they're trying to analyze, they become confused. Um, and so it's very, very important you, you master or learn to trade the right way. So become a member. Thank you, traders. And I'll see you or you'll see me. Normally I have my camera on, by the way. I don't think, no, I don't have my camera on today. Normally the camera's on, so normally you would see me. Thank you, traders. See you in the next episode.